hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are in asaba the capital city of delta state nigeria we are visiting the national museum which is also mongo park's house i hope you guys enjoyed this video okay shout out to trips by elo who made me discover this place so guys this is mongo park's house which is inside the national museum asaba this place is located at nebisi road yeah nebisi road in asaba okay so yeah this is the main gate the main gate it has two gates this is the main gate which is the big gate and then we have the smaller gate inside okay This is the second gate, which is a smaller gate, and here we have the Mongo Park's house. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm in Asaba right now, okay? I'm in Asaba, so right now I'm at the National Museum, the National Museum. Um, Mongo Park's house, okay? Mongo Park's house. See, have you ever heard, like, do you know that Mongo Park has a house in Delta State in Nigeria, guys? I'm going to take you guys around, show you guys everything, and tell you guys everything you need to know about this place, okay? Definitely come here, okay? So, this is the house, first of all. Really not to go into extinction, mm. they came together and they were able to assess fund. That's why you're still seeing this building standing or S. You have gone far, far back time. Wow. But thank God for such people. Because without this building, the history of Nigeria is not complete. Yeah. Because so. it was through um, Mongo Park discovering the river Niger that, you know, we got the name brought Nigeria. About, brought about the amalgamation in. 18, sorry, um, amalgamation of Nigeria actually brought this structure, yes, wow. because colonial, colonialism, like we know, it's all about civilization. Before the advent or before the civilization, we had our own culture, but prior to that, we have this now because of what we are seeing now, because of this civilization. We, white people that came into the continent, this yeah, African, African continent. continent. Mongo Park actually didn't get to Asaba, but he had other explorers, people that worked with him. Okay. They furthered his uh, exploration ideas and they got to Asaba. People like Richard Landa and uh, mm. John Landa, wow. they all co concluded his mission. This building itself is a story of its own. It's an exhibition right now. Wow. Yeah, that it is in Asaba. Like I said, without this building, the story of Nigeria is not complete. What I mean is that this is the first colonial office, administrative mm. office in Nigeria. Wow. There is a similar structure in other parts of Nigeria, like the Lokoja, where they have the military base. Mm. Then, before the amalgamation, it was now the torturing. We have the Southern Protectorate and the Northern Protectorate that was amalgamated together and was called Nigeria. Wow. Now, this structure you see, like I said, is a prefabricated structure. Everything you see here, it's the way it was from the initial stage. Mm. From the world, from that 1886. Wow. The wood structure, wow. We'll go around the structure, you see for yourself, Guys, the building is really like, it's giving me this ancient kind of vibe, like, you know when you see, man, I don't think this kind of woods are still in existence, so like, the, Yes, the yes, we still, we still have them because our ATMP here in Nigeria, they are still trying. Wow. You know? Yeah, I think that was like if they way. can do something like this as a hotel kind of thing, like the the inside, everything will just go with the woody. vibe. Yeah, woody, you know that kind of. It will be very nice. Like it will not get old or outdated. Exactly. Yes, yeah. Well, even if you, most people now are even 
doing similar thing yes. now. They use wood and block work. Yes. A little of block work, a little and of wood work. work. And you see the wood, polished wood. Yeah. So that is what we are trying to encourage it. Yeah. So that people should think about it. Sometimes you see that building materials are really getting expensive. Mm. Then by the time we can source for good wood, which we have here, yeah. good wood. Yeah. Wood like my organic woods, we still have them in our bushes. We can get them, source for them, use it and we get something similar. Yeah. Nice work at the end of the day. You know, our problem is maintenance. We don't have maintenance culture in this country. Yeah, we allow certain things to go just go, and it's like and we don't value bothered. history. We're not bothered. Yeah, but if we're bothered about it before now, this beauty would have been better than this. Yeah. But thank God for those few Nigerians that taught it wise mm. for this project. For this, this is a project itself, yeah. for it not to go into an extension for posterity our our children will come and see yes. so that's why without this building the story of this building nigeria is not complete and as a itself so that's why tourism is, a, is an interesting thing it makes you mm. to know certain yeah. things that you don't know you don't know yeah it opens your y mindset, your eyes yeah your idea you start thinking positively mm. there are places you go because like there are other museums museums is a place where you're supposed to go to and you relax yeah you feel nature, you feel nature itself, mm -hmm. you know. So basically, I am happy that you're doing this. You're not just doing it for yourself, you're yeah. also doing it for others, so that people will know yeah. the potentials in Delta State. Yeah. And I think this is one of the places. We have where we have our African kitchen. Yeah, guys. Where we have our African dishes, uh, and that was the museum kitchen. Yeah. Where we cook our African delicacy. You know, we have our local dishes. Guys, this place is highly recommended. Like, yes. I recommend this place. You can come to this museum, sit, relax, have food. African food, African like... African food, yes. Oh my God. It's a setting. Yes. Yeah. You know? Clean and like... Neat. Neat, yes. so clean, neat. Guys, look at the ceiling. Oh my God. Yeah. This is a uh, raft. Go to the raft farm. Oh! Guys, look at just take a look at. Then we have our craft village, which is also part of the museum setting. Wow. Where we have the carving and sculpturing uh, department, yeah. where we train people on how to go about carving. carving. You know, the woods that are supposed to be used. We also have our textile department where we do our tie and dye. Tie and dye, wow, yeah. guys. We have some designs of our African attire. Yeah. We put them here. Then we also have where we have our bronze casting. Oh. You know, these are all sections for, yeah, for people, training, yeah. you know, for empowerment, self-empowerment. Mm. We also have our um, ICT department. Wow. You know, for internet facility, mm. we are training, you know. Yeah. Now it's all about internet. Yeah. And uh, we have our store where some of our objects are kept. kept. You know? Wow. They also have a library here. Yes, we yeah. have a library. That's yeah. Just right opposite the library. I mean right opposite the museum, there's a library. Yeah. Okay. Let's go upstairs and see them. Oh my god guys, I can't wait. <laughs> wow. Oh, like the wooden structure is the vibe I'm getting, guys. Like, this is the energy. Oh my god. Like, guys, take a look at Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow, this place is history. Jeez. Guys, this place is pretty. <laughs> wow, guys, this you is see, trying to depict the old. Yeah, building. you see the window setting mm. with the vent. Yeah, you know, that's a vent. I'll go in and let me let me open this stuff so that oh. you see it properly. Oh my God, guys, are you seeing this place? Oh. 
setting. Whoa. Yeah, come on, let me just come up with this. No, no, I told you to wait now. Ah. Wow, guys. The design is beautiful. Like, so pretty. Oh, my God. Oh, it completely locked up. Yeah. Oh my. Yo. Oh, look at. Oh. Bingo, I'm going to go. Eh? Bingo, I'm going Yeah. The story concerning the building, the, the bottom part of the, the ground floor was used for the warehouse. Okay. Where they store their goods. Because when they came in, the colonial masters, they went into the interland and they started getting materials mm. like our own um, palm nuts and so on. Mm. They were taking it over there. So they were storing them here before exportation. Wow. So then the ground floor was used as the store storehouse. While the upper part of it was used as the administrative office. Oh, okay. Then we have some buildings. There used to be a structure there. Okay, that very place. The, the, that yeah. front, uh, foundation you're seeing yeah. used to have a structure there. Mm -hmm. But we had to pull it down because it was already, you know, falling on its own oh, wow. because of maintenance. Yeah. And it's used, it's bricks work. It was brick, bond bricks that okay. they used in building it. Yeah. Bond brick. So if, if if they still want to like bring it up again. We are still going to use bricks. Yeah, okay. So that to still keep it the way yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Because that's the idea. Yeah. So it's a place where the memories are kept. Yeah. You know? So we are the custodian of the memory, the museum yeah. workers. Yeah, the museum exactly. professional. Yeah. The museum if you look at the ray here, it shows the British flag, mm. the Union Jack flag. It's more like the symbol of it mm. that shows the existence of the British people in Nigeria. Wow. The British government. So, like I said, the upper part here has three main halls. Okay. So the first floor and then the second hall. Third hall, I mean, there's one in between for this one. They have here, they have a balcony in front and a balcony outside. Wow, yeah. It's <laughs> good. close to nature. Yes. So, this was like, you overlook the waterfront. Oh my god. I think that's what your friend did yeah. and it was like it's a waterfront. So we're trying to create like I said the walkway. Oh. The waterfront. Okay, that's right. Yes, yeah, that was the front. Okay. If you look from here you still see some of the that's River Ninja for yeah. you. That's okay, River Ninja yeah, for guys. you. Up there, that's River Ninja. I see. Yeah. You have River Ninja the view. Yeah. You know? Because of this building is now we're not having a blockade. You can't see a proper view. Mm. Proper view of it. So that view is not like it's not together with this. Park. No, this structure is not. Oh, it's wow. not. You know? Wow, guys, are you seeing the River Niger over there? Yeah, that's River Niger ah. for you. Sometimes when you're lucky, you see some boats. Okay, yeah. there, there's a dredger. I see a dredger. If you look in between here, you see a dredger. Yeah, a dredger is around there. Yeah, that's a dredger going oh down. God, yeah, okay. a dredger is there, somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, I see. see it now. Yeah. yeah, that's a dredger. Wow. Walking on the waterfall. Mm. You know, like we, they do, like the white men, they like fresh mm. yeah. air. Yeah. That's why they have both balconies. Yeah. They have the front balcony and the back, the back balcony. balcony. This is the back balcony. Mm. Then here we have. Objects, some of our own objects, African objects. Yeah. We have the knock terracotta, we have the Ife bronze head, we have the Ife head, we have so many of them, they are here in the museum. Then we have the revolution of Asaba. Mm how Asaba came into existence with its five surviving quarters. Mm. The, the quarters are Umoize, Umonaji, Umon, Umoaji, Umogomota, and Umoago. Those are the five villages. Mm. You see them there? Yeah, Umoize, Umoaji, Umonaji. Umonaji. Okay. Umogomota, okay. and Umoago. Umoago. Wow. 
among these villages, you have um, quarters in the villages. Okay. So and, and each quarter has more than, so each village has more than 10 quarters. Wow. You know, and each quarter has a senior man, they call it Obi. Mm, okay, yeah, Obi, Obi quarter, yes. Obi yeah, like they have Obi of Agbo. <laughs> that one is the bigger one. That's okay. The most, that's the big boy. Yeah. You know, it's all the first class king. King. Yeah. You know, wow. before the restoration, we used to have Victoria exhibition of royal fathers. Yeah. All the royal fathers in Delta State. And we have three centurion districts in Delta mm. State Delta North, Delta Central, and Delta South. South yeah. Delta North is made up of Adoma speaking people. Delta Central is made up of the Robo, while Delta South is made up of the Shekiri and the Jo and a few of the Sokos are there too. Sokos South. So we all have the traditional fathers, the pictorial exhibition, just their picture, how they came into existence, how the community came into existence, what is their occupational, uh, uh, what do they do, what they do as occupation. Yeah. Are they into farming? Are farming, they into fishing? fishing? Thank you. Yeah. What do they do? Are they into palmer tapping? Yeah. They have so many community. Are they into um, animal farming or whatever mm. as the case may be? You will see the story there, line wow. there. Or how they ascend the throne? Is it through hereditary or is it by um, different elections or stuff whatever? Like that, yeah. You will see the history there too. Wow. Before the restoration, but we are still going to do that exhibition very soon with objects. Okay. Object of importance wow. from every community within Delta State. You bring your object. You know the storyline of the object. Mm. And what does it do for you? What important does it have? Is it economic important? Is it social important? Mm. Is it cultural important? What has that got to do? We all go down you know, like, and study and know exactly how to present it to our visitors. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, we are still in the museum premises. Yeah, guys. This is how the compound is looking like. Over there is the library. Yeah. Wow, this place, eh, the structure, guys. Very strong. Yes. Yeah, the wood. Yeah. So this place now, the government is still aware of this place. Of course, aware of the government staff. Wow, like they pay you people like. I work with Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Wow. The parasita, my parasita is National Commission for Museums and Monuments. Wow. So we are in custodian of this property now. Wow. Because it, it has, like I said. It's a storyline of mm. without this building, Nigeria is incomplete. You know, that's why this building, so this museum is called Museum of Colonial History. Wow. That's the name of this museum. We have okay. Museum of National Unity mm. and so on and so forth. We have museums of, uh, of archaeological discovery where objects are discovered. Yeah. You know, we have uh, Museum of Ethnographical Discovery. You know, but this one is colonial museum because we have our colonial history, history. how Nigeria came about, you know. Mm -hmm. So we are at the back of the museum, the back side of the museum, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. Yeah, so this is the Bankoni I showed you guys earlier, exactly. the back Bankoni. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And I love the fact that this place is very calm, relaxed, chilled, like whoa. Oh oh. So is this place that you are trying to walk on the walkway? Yeah, the walkway to the waterfront. That can lead. So yeah. we were talking about the history, how they came through mm. the waterfront. The history will be very okay, will yeah. be completed, you know. So we don't have to do that time to go have hazard yes, history. Yeah. We should be told the proper history yeah. of the place, you know. So guys, this is the place that leads to the... Have you seen Mongo Park before? Let me show you guys. Right. He's a physician, a medical doctor. Wow. Very young man, lived for just 35 years old. 
We were just 35 years old. Yeah, from 1971 to 1806. Oh. Uh. See, it's like, the more you could do this way, the more you could do this way, the more you could do this way, the more you could do this Like he didn't really live that long, but he has a very good history, yes, yes. and that's what matters, you know. No, they should bring it back, oh guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, let me know what you think of this video. My name is uh, Mr. Fidel Isusiago. I'm the staff of National Museum of Sama. Actually, I am the Antiquity Protection Officer. Wow, okay, nice. Once so you visit Asaba, just come to this place, okay? Come to this place and always, you know. Tag this place on Instagram. We want people to know about this park, this this museum. Okay, guys, send me hi to my people again. Right. Yeah, nice one, thank eh? you so much, sir. Right. Right. Let me say hi to.